Greetings everyone, Eric the Car Guy here, known as ETCG1 on this channel. And today I'd like to follow up on a discussion that I sort of started on my Facebook the other day. And that was, uh, what do you, what, who would you hire? Would you hire somebody of equal experience who was certified or not certified? And I put that whole equal experience thing in there because I didn't want to get into the argument of experience versus certification. That's not necessarily where I wanted to go with it. I just wanted to see if, like say if you were an employer, would you hire somebody that did not have specific certifications? And this is kind of what sparked that discussion in my mind is I'm, I'm on LinkedIn and one of the uh, questions that came up here was, was this. Okay, and the question is, what do you do if you find out that the techs you have do not have the education for newer vehicles? Uh, this is after repair is is not deemed Toyota quality. It was a good repair, but not according to the way the recommendations are. I'm thinking about hiring a tech with recent certifications and firing one of my techs. Now, if you read through the comments uh, after that, it, it, people were just as put off by this as I was, and it really shows the ignorance of the person posting this. Uh, there are several reasons why a manufacturer will not sign off on a repair and as you can see this is a collision uh, repair and you know auto body is different than auto repair in so many ways I mean they're, they're completely different disciplines and they, they involve so many different regulations what have you whatever but what really set me off about this is that he was basically going to throw away a technician so that he could bring in somebody that was certified so that he could get Toyota to sign off on the repairs. We're not tools. We're not shop equipment, okay? We are technicians. We are human beings. We have lives, okay? You don't just throw us away like we're nothing. Trust me, I know on this one. I'll give him the fact that he sounds like a, an ignorant person. But the argument comes back to certification versus ability, okay? Many of you have pointed out in other videos and other comments that, you know, you can have all the certifications in the world and you won't know how to turn a wrench. Yes, that's true in some cases. But in other cases, and, and some of you have even gone so far to say, I don't need no stinking ASE certification and like that. And I'm not saying that you have to have ASE certification. What I'm saying is, is if you, if you are an employer, and you are faced with a choice of hiring somebody who's experienced or somebody who's certified, nine times out of ten you're going to go for the person that's certified, even with the person with experience. Uh, I've even had people come so far as to say that, you know, like I said, we don't need no stinking, we don't need no stinking certifications, we don't need no stinking schooling, like they don't need an automotive education. I could not disagree with you more on this, uh, especially in today's environment. And a lot of this is because, and, and it goes even farther than that, so even after you get your basic automotive education, like say you get a job at a dealership, that dealership is going to train you on their vehicle line. Different vehicle lines have different specifications, different needs, different wants. They're just different, okay? You just, you can't work on just everything these days anymore. Because what you don't know is what's going to kill you, uh, either as a shop owner or as a technician. Uh, you may not know that you know if you unplug this like you've unplugged it on a hundred other cars, it's going to mess something up. How about this? Perfect example: drive-by wire. I've got an email box full of people that say I'd clean my throttle body and my drive-by wire thing, and now it won't run right. Well, not knowing that messing around with those servos and that drive-by wire system, the way you messed around with it cause the problem that you now have, it either won't idle, won't start, or anything like that. That lack of knowledge is what got you. That lack of knowledge is what killed you. That lack of knowledge is going to cost you. Yes, certifications are important. And certifications are sort of a validation of an education or signify a, uh, an education. The other thing that was brought up about uh, the experience requirement of ASC. <laughs> You know, anybody can just walk in and take the test. Uh, and I, I can walk in and take the test, but I don't have the experience. Well, yes, they want you to have that experience because that experience comes from you going out into the field and screwing up or watching the guy next to you screw up or girl, screw up 
and make those mistakes so you can say to yourself, I'm not doing what he did or she did or they did. I'm not going to do that. That experience is just as valuable as the education to start with. That education is a foundation that you build on when you go out into to do your career. And I, I, I will always say that automotive education is the way to go. Ignorance is what kills you in this business. But ignorant comments and ignorant people like this are what you have to deal with. So getting back to the core of the argument here, you're going to hire somebody certified over somebody who's not certified, but you also need that experience. But beyond all that, that technician invests their time, effort, money in tools. I mean, your employer doesn't buy your tools for you when you're a technician, at least I don't know any that do. Dealership situations where the dealership has to buy the specialty tools to do this or do that. Well, anybody who's worked at a dealership, yeah, good luck finding those tools. <laughs> It could be in that guy's box or that guy's box or laying on the shelf over there or, or something like that. Uh, so you've got those, those challenges to deal with. But more to the point, as a technician, you're not shop equipment. You, you invest a lot into yourself, in your tools, into your education, into your training and your certifications to try to make you into what you are. Try to make you a, a valuable member of that team in whatever environment you happen to be working in. For somebody to come along and make a remark like this, I'm just gonna fire somebody and hire somebody who's certified so that I don't have to worry about this in the future. You ignorant bastard. We'll forgive him for that, but I'm throwing this discussion out to you. Uh, you know, what do you think? Is it, is it certification or is it experience? Or is it a combination of both? Do you think automotive education is important? Do you think it's not important? Do you think you can just, in this day and age, walk into any shop, with a set of tools and say, okay, I'm ready to work. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about these comments? Love to hear it. ETCG1, also known as Eric the Car Guy. You can find me at ericthecarguy.com. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and now Google+. And I'm gonna close with be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. Comments welcome, people. Comments welcome. <laughs>